hey guys so it is the day before your exam what things should you be doing what things should you be focusing on for the exam that you have tomorrow If your exam is tomorrow, I'm afraid we can't be remembering loads and loads of stuff. We need to think about getting things into um, your short-term memory, so we need to be thinking about short things to remember. So for physics, I'm talking about units. For maths, we're talking about equations. For languages, we're talking like keywords. History, we're talking about dates. We're talking short, sharp, snappy facts um, that you've done for recall. Hopefully you've made loads and loads of flashcards already. If you haven't, there are some on my website which will save you a bit of time. Um, use your flashcards, use the mind maps you've made to work on your short term recall. Um, the whole topic videos that I've made for you are going to be really, really good just for going over and quickly refreshing things. And these are really like light skims over things. I don't go into things into too much detail. They're going to point out to you the bits that you don't know, to the bits where maybe you want to go and focus a little bit more of your time. But the day before your exam, we can't really afford to be spending massive, massive chunks of time learning new things. Hopefully. Hopefully you know all of the new things by now. But don't forget, you have exams next week, maybe the week after, maybe even the month after as well. So don't spend the whole of today, um, or whatever day is, focusing on the exam that you have tomorrow morning. Think about your other exams as well, and try and intersperse your revision for tomorrow with the exams that you have coming later up. Now I know this is going to be really, really, really hard for you to do, because you want to focus on the exam that you have tomorrow. But for the, the flashcards, the mind map stuff to sink into your head, you need to give it a little bit of a break from what you're doing. So go and do something else, go and revise a different topic, go and have a nap, go and have something to eat, go and run around for a bit or be able to play the dishwasher. Come and load my dishwasher, that'd be great. Um so don't just focus on the exam that you have tomorrow. I know that's what you want to do. Um but please remember you have other exams coming up. Um don't forget to get some decent sleep tonight. I know that I know what it's gonna be like because it's like this every single year. You are gonna be leaving me comments till whatever o'clock in the morning um and i would do my best to respond to every single one of them um but there are just gonna be so so many that i won't be able to so please 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 go to bed early yes please go to bed early and for the exam um get up nice and early in time so that you can have breakfast and i'm talking like a decent breakfast i'm not talking about a mars bar here i'm talking about some complex carbohydrates so some nice toast some nice wheat mix maybe a nice sausage roll or something um eat properly sleep properly these are going to do really really good for you in the exams and i know it's easy for me to say this and it, you don't feel like you have time to to be sleeping to be eating but it's really really important for your exam success that you do sleep and that you do eat um these things are really important so for the exam that you have tomorrow, whatever exam it is, we need to be thinking about short term, recall, going over facts, making sure you know everything correctly, making sure you're getting your dates of history, your little accents of French, German or Russian or whatever are in the right place. Um, for science and maths, you've got the whole topic videos that I've made for you to go over. Um, and flashcards are be great. Flashcards are over my website if you haven't got those already. So, good luck guys, I know how hard you've been working and I'm so, so proud of you all. Um, we are nearly at the end, we can get through this, I promise we will get through this together. Good luck.